Hello, and welcome to the Pro Beginner Mixer. My name's Tim, and today we're in the second part in a four-part series on mixing pop vocals in GarageBand. Today we're discussing EQ. One of the most powerful tools that mix engineers like you and I have is EQ. Now, I know EQ can seem intimidating and confusing, maybe a little bit scary, but trust me, EQ is one of your best friends in your mixing arsenal. Now, all EQ really is, is an incredibly advanced volume knob. But instead of adjusting the volume on the overall track, it allows us to pinpoint areas or frequencies of the audio that sound good and sound bad. Then the areas that sound good, we turn up, and the areas that sound bad, we turn down or cut altogether. This creates space and depth in our mix, and it also creates pockets for each individual instrument to shine in our mix. It also creates headroom because we're cutting out frequencies that would otherwise crowd our mix bus. So without further ado, let's jump in. To access our EQ, let's click this smart controls button. From here, we can manually add our EQ in the audio effects slot, or we can just click this button that says EQ. Now, to keep it simple, we're working with three bands of audio here. Our lows that congregate here between 20 and 250 hertz, our mids that congregate here between 250 hertz to 2K, and finally, our highs that congregate here between 2K and 6K. Firstly, we're going to cut the lows because the vocals usually hang in the mid to upper frequency range. I almost always cut between 100 to 110 hertz, like so. This will get rid of any sub or low frequencies that our ears can't hear but take up sonic space. This will also help open up the vocals and free up headroom. Secondly, the mids. Oftentimes I find ugly frequencies hiding in the mids that cloud up our vocal. So let's sweep the mid range and locate any ugly frequencies we can cut. Hear that cloudy buildup? It's hanging around 300 hertz. Let's do a 1 to 3 decibel subtraction on that. And finally, let's find the presence of our vocal. This is where we can open up the vocal and let it shine. Usually I find the presence hiding in the upper register. So let's sweep through and find it. So I found some presence around 10,400 and did a small boost. I also wanted to free up some of the top end, so I did a small shelf boost. So that's about it. We've cut out the sub frequencies, cut the mud, and opened up the presence. Let's listen to a before and after. Well, there you have it. That's how to EQ vocals in three easy steps. If you liked this video, feel free to like and subscribe and tune in next week where I'm gonna be discussing compression on vocals. Take care.